I'm so gay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Dutchie. So aggressive, my snapback fell off. Hello. <laughs> Today I thought I would bring you guys a video on how to give off bi vibes without coming out. I've been told many a time that I give off like a gay bi vibe and they were correct in assuming so. Not that you can ever assume or think that someone gives off vibes because sometimes they may not be. But I get a lot of questions from you guys asking how to look gay or how to look bi or how to act you know, a certain way. So I thought I would start a little series on this. I can do one for every other sexuality if you do enjoy this and it does do well. But yeah, I thought I would start with bisexuality because she's a bi baddie, she's a bi queen and uh, you're welcome. If you enjoy these types of videos, please make sure to give this one a huge thumbs up. And without further ado, let's head on into how to give off a bi vibes. Okay, so I'm gonna start with bisexual stereotypes. Just get them out of the way. They're there, they exist, so I'm going to mention them. Now, I won't lie, most of the following bisexual stereotypes can be taken as just pure fashion. And if by chance you are watching this and you're not bisexual or queer in any way, and you've been mistaken for being bi or gay before due to your style, then damn, you are doing something right. Take that as a compliment. <laughs> Okay, so your girl is here with a list of stereotypes, bisexual stereotypes, mind you. I'm just gonna list them off here, right here, right now. Okay, okay, so if you wanna give off bi vibes physically with like something on you, this is what you can do. Thumb rings, standard. The bi haircut, standard. Shirts and shirts, specifically tucked in shirts. Cuffed jeans, <laughs> hello. Connie's vans or docks. Snapbacks, hello. And beanies, of course. Just girl in red. Just girl in red in general. Peace signs, awkward thumbs up. Finger guns, okay. Just generally taking a long time in the toilet because you're tucking your shirt back in. I don't know if that's too subtle of a stereotype, but it may, may or may not work. An eyebrow slit, dad shirts, short nails, lots, and I mean lots of oversized t-shirts, hoodies, sweats, crewnecks, the like. Just being generally confused in day-to-day -day life is a pretty bisexual mood stereotype. And let me end that on cool colored socks and patterned socks. Yeah. And now I'm going to throw some subtle bisexual vibes at you and then I'm gonna end the video with less subtle bisexual vibes. So now moving into subtle vibes you can give off as a bisexual. An open appreciation of who you're attracted to. And by saying this, I mean be open about people you find attractive when you're in the street or when you're at school with your friends or when you're out with friends somewhere. If you're at the beach and you find someone attractive or more than one person attractive, be vocal about that. It's subtle, maybe not too subtle depending on who you're with. Drop X's into conversation where applicable. Now again, where applicable. Just don't go around saying my ex-boyfriend, my ex-girlfriend, that sort of thing, especially if you're around someone that you would like to impress. But hey, when it comes to talking, but when it comes to talking to someone new and their gay does a little bit off and they have no idea, then you can start leading that into conversation. Talk about celeb crushes you have. Again, super subtle. It sort of does, if you're a girl and you're like, I love, if you're a girl and you're like, I am obsessed with Cara Delevingne, and then you say, Jake Gyllenhaal though, I would go there. I mean, it's pretty obvious, but, but then yeah, like, you know. <laughs> I spoke about girl in red before, but like music taste, bisexuals are, like are known to speak about their music taste, but I suppose so are lesbians, so. It kind of, you know, but it gets you onto the right track. And my last subtle hint here is if you're bi, it is likely that you are on the gay side or bi side of TikTok. So if you're hanging out with people that you would like to subtly hint your bi vibes to, then open up good old TikTok, scroll through, and once you get to a particularly bisexual TikTok, which I'm sure you will if you are bisexual, um, you could give it a little heart in front of them, laugh and say, <laughs> relatable, you know, that way, again, you're not needing to start the conversation, you're not needing to say anything, you're just showing them, hey, look, I relate to this bisexual. What does that mean? I don't know what it means. It may mean I'm bi. Okay, so they were some subtle vibes to give off. Now we're moving into not so subtle vibes. Let's get it. Let's start going to gay bars. Let's start going to pride events. 
look at girls, smirk, flirt, bite your lip sort of thing. Do it with those people that you're attracted to, around people that you want to hint at. Wear a bisexual ring or a rainbow ring. I'm sure you can order something like that off Etsy or just eBay or anywhere. Have not a phase by Jessie Page as your ringtone. Pretty stock standard there. Never sit properly. And I mean, that's not really an option for us bisexuals. Like we can never sit properly, but just make sure you never accidentally do. <laughs> Start saying things like this around people that you want to give bi vibes off to. Do I want to be her or do I want to be with her? And my last non-subtle bi vibe. I'm so gay. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, then please give it a huge thumbs up. And if you know any fellow bisexuals that you think would enjoy this video, then please make sure to share it with them. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.